Hey guys, this is Kean Graham, CEO of Monetize More, and I'm going to be showing you in this video how to make your Google Ad Exchange tags compatible with GDPR consent forms. So we're going to use the site pvpresourcepacks.com as an example. It's a WordPress site, and this right here is an ad exchange tag. So before the consent form shows, we're gonna we don't want this to show on the page because it shows personalized ads and any EU user would have to consent to display their data to other third parties first. Otherwise, it's infringing on GDPR law. So that's why it's so important. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So from the last video showing how to implement Google Analytics with uh, GDPR so that it's compliant, we have this code right here. And this doc is going to be available in the YouTube description, so don't worry, you'll have access to it. So this is what we are left with, and what we're going to have to add is the script that refers to the ads by Google here. So first we're going to want to use the pjjs.load.js here. We'll just copy it to the line below. And we're going to take out this URL. And we're going to replace it with this one. So that this refers to the ad exchange ads and it will block it whenever the EU user has not consented. Okay, so this is what we need. We need to implement that onto the site. So I'm going to go within WordPress right here, implement it within the header. So I'm going to copy and paste, click Save Changes. And then what we're also going to need to do is adjust the ad exchange text. So Ad exchange normally gives synchronous ad exchange tags, which you can see right over here. So this is a 728 by 90 ad, the kind of the default code that comes from ad exchange. So I'm going to copy that right over here. And we're going to have to adjust it so that it is asynchronous and compatible with GDPR. So we're going to have to use some of the attributes within the tag and copy them over to the asynchronous template. So we're gonna have to change the width, the height, the say, the pub ID, and the ad slot ID. So we'll start with the pub ID. I'm gonna put it right in here. Okay, and then the ad slot ID, put it right here. And then the width, is 728 pixels and the height 90 pixels okay so we have our ad exchange tag we're going to want to replace it in the body but an important thing we have to do here is we need to take out this top script so I'm going to delete that the reason we do that is because Within the cookie wrap function, if a user does not consent, then it withholds this right here. But if they do consent, then it does add that portion to the ad tag so that it displays properly. And that's how the technology properly works. So I'm gonna copy and paste this, and I'm gonna to go to my ad settings plugin and add it right here. And Save the changes. Now I'll do a hard refresh on pvpresourcepacks.com. And then I'm going to apply one of the tests, which is right down here. You can also find it in the Monetize More Fact, which the link is over there. And I'm going to force a pop-up. So I'll append the URL. So we got the pop-up and you can see the ad disappeared. It did not show. 
So there are no ads on the page until I click OK, let's go. And then here is the ad. Okay, I hope that was useful. Thank you. That's it for today. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to subscribe to our blog to learn to monetize more. Hope to see you here again soon. Bye for now.